Well, uh, the city's debt load is really, really low for a city of our size. Thankfully, we have a really conservative finance director with Shaney Wittenberg, and we've been able to uh, manage our money properly. So a lot of cities in Colorado of our size rely on debt. We don't want to do that. We want to treat our borrowing as you would at home. So if we have large capital projects, we try to save up over time a little bit every year, and then we build the project when we have money to do it. And so we're really proud of the fact that for a city of 20,000 people, a total budget of 61 million uh, this year, our debt total at the city is just over $10 million. That includes about $1.6 million on water and sewer, and we have just under $10 million for street improvements and capital improvements related to streets throughout the community with the Move Moat project that we did a couple years ago. Well, when I started in 2011, one of the first things Shaney and I, the finance director, wanted to do was to help the community weather the next recession. And we were in the middle of one from 2009 to 2011. We had to do early retirements, we had to do layoffs, we had to cut city services because we didn't have adequate reserves. So one of the first things we did is we went to the city council and we asked them to adopt a reserve fund policy. Uh, for our general fund, we have a six month policy. And for our enterprise funds, water, sewer, trash and recycling, we have a 90 day policy. And right now, we're proud to say that we have anywhere from seven to eight months of general fund reserve sitting in our savings account in case the next recession were to hit. We have some money to weather that storm so we don't have to re reduce the services we provide to the community or lay people off. It's really hard to get good quality people back after you've laid them off and they've taken jobs elsewhere. We saw that in our community with construction workers. It took a few years to build back up the ability to do big projects in our community. Same with our enterprise funds, water, sewer, and trash. We have much healthier funds compared to the general fund. Uh, in water, for example, we have several years worth of reserve. Sewer, we have a couple of years worth of reserve. And then trash and recycling, we have a healthy reserve, but it's under one year. And with the changing commodity markets on recycling, we're going to be looking into that to make sure that we have adequate reserves going into 2021, 2022, uh, if the recycling doesn't change at all. But fiscally sound, fiscally healthy, uh, it's just a good place to be right now.